Hello and welcome to this video. My name is David Thorne. In this video, we're going to be talking about variable declaration and data types in the Python programming language. So without any further ado, let's get started. So as you can see here, I've created um, some variables here, age, height, name, and surname. And then you can see here, age is equal to 45. Total height is then age plus uh, height. Message is this, and we print out. Now, I'm assuming you don't know what we're talking about here, but um, what I'm trying to do is define um, some description, some details to, to write down some properties that I have uh, on this one page uh, using different like names uh, and then their values, all right? And that's what we are doing. We are basically making a variable, um, a place where we can store some data. And that data is stored here is an object, which we're gonna get onto later. But I just want you to think that we're going to create an object, and that's object is 44, right? That object is, is 44. And another object here that we're going to create is, is 1.85, okay? And then the next one, it's going to get quite boring in a second, is going to be a, a literal string, all right? And we can continue with this and so on. But this is what I want you to take into account, is that we are these are objects, 44, 1.85, and then David is a, is a literal string, okay? And so we are creating a placeholder in memory, and we're giving it an identifier of age, all right? And we're saying with this equal sign, this is an assignment operator, right? Just like if we were doing algebra here, we would say x is equal to uh, mx plus b, okay? So that's not true, y, sorry. <laughs> y is equal to mx uh, plus b. Or you could then have like uh, x uh, squared uh, plus y squared is equal to then uh, z squared, for example, and stuff like that. And in this situation, uh, y squared, or sorry, uh, z, I wanted to have here, uh, z squared is then has the value of uh, x squared plus y squared is equal to z squared. Okay, so this is nothing more than assignment uh, value. And uh, we could also say then 10 is equal to 5 times by 2. So 10 is being assigned the value of 5 times by 2. All right, yes, 5 times 2 also equals 10. But if we wanted to put this into reference of saying that x is equal to 5 times 2, then in this scenario, x would be x would be 10, right? And if we wanted to say now that y is equal to m, uh, m times x plus b, and whoops, and b in this scenario, b in this scenario is going to be then say 6. We just need to define m now, which will be then the slope. And say the slope is then going to be 1, right? So we are we are seeing that this is then y is equal to mx plus b. And this this should be clear uh, for you, the, the, the stuff that you've done at school. Um, this is this is like basic mathematics that you do at you know high school level and so on. So uh, this this you've done in algebra already, all right? And uh, so this is exactly the same. Age is now equal to 44. Just like m is equal to 1, b is equal to 6, x is equal to 5 times uh, 2, and y is equal to uh, mx plus b, and, and so on. So this is a variable. And the, the value of it is then 44, 1.85, a literal string of David. Uh, so it's, that's, this is now a, a collection of d, a, v, I and D. And these are all just characters, they're ASCII characters and so on. And with inside of the double quotes, it's saying, hey, link all these together and make it a collection of chars, which is then in this language called a string. And a float is then anything that has a decimal number, basically. Uh, it's not an integer, okay? It's not a whole, a whole number. Um, now, age, let's just say that age could be minus 44. Then we can basically say that any of the, um, the, the, uh, the, 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 the natural numbers or the integers plus or minus can be there and age can also uh, then be uh, zero. So it can be all the negative values, right? It can be zero and it can be all the positive values as well. But floats, on the other hand, um, they can be negative as well. So they can take on uh, a signed value of minus and that can go from uh, the, the, the amount of memory that is allocated to this one variable on your machine all the way to negative end and then zero and then all the way up to the other end as well. And obviously the amount of 
uh, digits at the end of it is based upon your CPU and the amount of memory that you've got, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But this is this is now this is now a variable. Now what we can see here is that we can say age later is going to be 45 and just to show you that this is all going to be perfectly fine we see my name is David uh, Thorne and it's then 14 uh, 30 what what did I do there uh, uh, uh. total height oh yeah okay age plus height all right so we can see here that we just put it back to uh, 44 let's put it back to 44 and now we can see that we've got 46.185, which is my which is my age here. And we've we've you know one year later I'm now 45, so it means that it's updated. Now you might think that if you've done any other programming languages, that how do we create a constant now variable now or an immutable um, variable? Well, this 44 is this is the the immutable part, all right? And age is the mutable part. So it means that we've now a reassigned age to have a new object all right now in other programming languages it's kind of the opposite way around you cannot change this variable to have a new value but this age if we if we come here in another variable and say old age is equal to age right the the old age or the age object here 44 still exists inside this old age and um, we can now Just take old age and then uh, print it out, and we will actually see that we still get 44 and so on here. So you have to remember that if you still want access to the old value, you need to add it to another variable, and then the new variable will be updated with the new object that's going to be there. Now, like I said, if you've done PHP or JavaScript or, or a C or anything that actually let me just say, if you've done anything that has like uh, pointers and, and references and, and so on, and you, or you've got constants and immutable and immutable stuff, you're going to have to change your way of thinking here just slightly, all right? So there isn't any any const or any, any let or anything in, in Python. Uh, so you, you're going to have to just put up with it. Anyway, let's just have a quick look at my notes, make sure I've got everything. Um, yeah, it's really, really, really important that you understand um, why and when to use variables. Okay, specifically if you've got a a a value that you know you never want to change, um, and you're going to use it multiple times throughout your code, it makes zero sense to to keep using that one value all the time and hard code it in because you've got, if you've got to change that value at a later stage, you've got to sift through your code to make sure. That you know, sift through your code to find that one, that one constant or that one, not that one constant, that one, yeah, it is a constant, that one piece of text or or number that you've changed. So that's why we utilize uh, variables instead. So we can place it in one one area, right, nearly right, kind of at the top of our code, and then we can reuse it everywhere else. And we have to, if we have to change the value of it, we can. We just have to change it in one position. All right. Um, now there are naming conventions of of variables, and I'm not going to get into that in, in this video. I just wanted to to talk about um, the variable declaration and, and the data types. All right, like the syntax and stuff, or, 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 or the conventions. I'm not going to get into. But as you can see here, the data types we have right now are in float and string. We will go into other uh, ones later. But we did talk about collections here. But that's that's another video. All right. Anyway. Thank you very much uh, for watching. I hope you've got something out of this. And uh, yeah, if you're interested in, in what this means, if you don't know what it means, then uh, jump yourself over to Khan, jump yourself over to Khan Academy and uh, you can learn all about this stuff. All right. Um, anyway, thanks very much for watching. I will see you in the next video.